Welcome to CC's Texas Garden. So today we're gonna do some major harvesting and I'm gonna need this to help me harvest. Yeah, okay. So what I'm going to need a chainsaw for. Why do I need a chainsaw? Well, today is today, y'all. That the Roselle girl is coming down. And I know y'all probably like, no. Yeah, the day is the day. She is coming down. Um, take y'all over here. Because we are going to keep having dropping temps. So we come up and down and all that kind of stuff. And I'm ready for this space to already get amended and get ready. We don't have long before it's January or February. And it'll be time to plant back out here. Um, I will be planting my corn in this area so that means i need to get these out the way get my soil amended amended and uh yeah she she about to go so i have three plants in here i have this one small one here and yes it's a lot i'm gonna harvest all these calyxes because i can still use them uh, I can still use them to make jellies or juice or whatever even the little tiny ones and we got this long one here and this main mama right here they coming down y'all they laying it they leaning <laughs> they leaning on my broccoli over there it's not giving them much sunlight that it needs and uh so it, it's the day so i'm gonna set y'all up Y'all just seen me fall. <laughs> so, if I'm like on the next video saying, okay, y'all, my back and my side hurting, that's because your girl, and I hear feel. Look, look at Domino, like, mom, are you okay? I seen you just fall. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so. <coughs> I have the Roselle down. My neighbors have cameras. Uh, they're gonna kick, kick out that video. <laughs> when they be like, Cynthia just straight fell on the ground. Out there. I did. Okay. It's cleared out, y'all. Wow, the garden looks so different without this Roselle in it. Wow. It makes such a difference. And I have to pick every one of these calyxes off of here mm, mm, mm. but ooh, let me show y'all something let me get over here let me go around this way all right so with roselle you can use the leaves you can use the flowers you can use the calyxes but did you know, y'all can also use the roots. These roots right here, you can clean them up, you can dry them, and you can grind them and make powder or make it grind it for you can have some tea. This is medicinal as well. So when you do pull up, unless you leave it in the soil, which I don't know why you want to leave your, you know, medicinal stuff in the ground. And just let the microorganism eat them when you can benefit yourself with it but that's to each his own but yes these roots i'm gonna um my chainsaw y'all acting a butt so i'm gonna hacksaw these roots off of there these as well look how long that is look at all this medicinal stuff with these roots i am going to harvest these roots 
dry them and and add them to teas or whatever the leaves are good you can make tea with the leaves you can um i've seen people um it was somebody that said that they make uh, a a caribbean something with rice in these leaves and they call it sour sour or something something like that but these leaves you can also just eat them they taste like lemons so many things that you can do i will be harvesting some leaves on top of these tons of ros ro roselle <laughs> uh, roselle yeah so just letting you know yeah beautiful leaves harvest your leaves harvest your roots harvest your flower calyxes all on this i got a lot of work to do y'all but look at how it look at that <laughs> when i was ripping it up that's one of the branches ripped off all of these beautiful flowers i'm gonna harvest all those Woo, y'all tell me why i'm about to fall again it's these boots these boots ain't playing out here okay i'm gonna put these leaves so it looks nice out here don't it <laughs> I am going, I'm going to leave them Roselles that's there. Heck, I might get some uh, volunteer Roselles to pop up next year. That'll be great. Uh, I don't have to worry about it. But So what I'm going to do is amend the soil. Oop, I got some roots that tried to stay in here. Oop. Wow, look how far this thing was going. That was a long route there. Okay. So anyway, I am going to put me some alfalfa pellets, some um, compost in here. I'm just going to amend this soil up really, really good and uh, cover it up. I got some more leaves. I need to get some more cardboard. I'm just going to cardboard all this little area and clean it up get these dollar leaves uh weeds out of here as well let's check on this broccoli this hadn't been got, getting much sunlight because of the roselle this is the one the poor baby been just been eating eaten up by the bugs yeah it's been eating on that one we got this little one right here yeah, I think that'll do good. they get a lot more sunlight on them. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Take these basils out of here. I could cut them down, but I'm not. I'm not going to leave the basil in there. I'm not even going to leave it. I know. I know some of y'all like, oh my goodness, she disturbed it. To each his own in y'all own garden bed. But I don't want a... Uh, I'm not gonna have basil right there. Take this, put it out here too. I just put it there for a deterrent with the bugs, which didn't seem to work at all. Anyway, <laughs> it did not deter the birds. Bur the bugs. Break off the yellow leaves. But um, all these marigolds come on out of there. No, ma'am, because you about to die when it gets cold enough. But yeah. Very good. This looks so much better for me, y'all. I know, but it, it does. Let me see. Green beans. It's just a label from what I did have. Oh. Just sticks out. All right. So, cleaning this, picking this, show you the other thing because I'm probably not going to take y'all along with me. Can you move a little faster, sir? Thank you. Um, the other thing I'll be taking out are these karabis. Whew. Yeah. I will take this one out there. They're big enough. 
can take that one out. That'll give, yeah, my harvested leaves. I'm gonna try to make them karabi fries, so look for, I'll probably do a short, me making those karabi fries and trying them out for the first time. Then when I clear this all out, I'll be planting in carrots, rainbow carrots, and just some long orange carrot, carrots. Look at that. That's a nice size karabi there. Um, I'm trying to be able to see it. There we go. But yeah, I love the karabi leaves. Not fan of the karabi itself. It's not a, not a fan, but I'm gonna try with this karabi fries. That may be the trick. That may be the trick for it. I may keep this one in this crabby here, but these are, well, I guess not. It came up with that one. Ah, I guess it meant the to be cleared out today. Okay. Let me go and pull that one out here too. Since y'all just want to show out and come on out right now. Let me go and pull y'all out there. That's fine with me. That's fine. You know, it's always neat to try to grow something that you've never grown before into in your garden. Well, you know, to me, I like doing that, something that I haven't grown before. And try it out and see, hey, you know, you can hear other people talk about things, but until you try it yourself and grow it in your garden, and then you can really feel, out, feel like if you like it or not. So, I did a crabby about this size last time, and they said it should have been bigger. So, this is a nice size. This is hand size karabi. So, I don't want to hear I didn't do it the right size. That's why I didn't taste off. Come on now. Okay? This is a big, nice size karabi. I should be able to make some good karabi fries. I'll season it. And uh, we'll see. I went on to got that little one as well. Love the greens. So does the bugs. But I love the greens. You can saute them. That one is looking rough right there. We're going we to be eating that. They'll be composted. Um, but yeah, we're going to keep the leaves and uh, short with that karabi. i pull out this other one. And then, let's see. Grab it by his little limbs. That's a nice size hand one as well. There we go. So we have the karabi all cleared out of the bed. Yay! <laughs> I'm also going to water. We had some rain, but it did not do enough. It did not do enough to... Uh, Get the soil where it needs to be but yeah in this area right here that i cleared out the crabbies i'll put some earthworm castings kind of mix that into the soil and then i'm going to plant um, rows of carrots right here so we can just fill up that bed with some carrots okay i have some carrots growing here but they're not doing the best and it may be getting shaded from um these huge cabbages that's all right cabbages will be harvest very soon okay all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and get off here because i got a lot of work i got a lot of work i gotta pick all these roselle off here that's gonna take a while nobody wants to watch that i wouldn't even want to watch somebody picking roselle for ever <laughs> but yeah um just know that you can use let me turn this way just know that you can use the leaves flowers the roselle calyxes and the roots okay make sure that you use as much as possible of this this plant i will see her next year hopefully i'll get some volunteer ones that would be nice and uh i'll see y'all on the next video